If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 7, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Disick Trending here bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be going over 7 things rappers have bought that are very, very expensive. Now before I get into the video, I just want to give the quick notification shout out. That is going to my boy Rolex Watch. Shout out to you man, thank you so much for being active on the channel. If you guys would like a notification shout out start of my next video, all you guys have to do is turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and comment down below saying notification squad or that you subscribe. And also guys, make sure you guys watch this video all the way through because the first thing on the list this is absolutely insane and I'm also going to be hiding a free Amazon gift card code for one of you guys to win. Now I'm going to hide it very well so everybody has a good chance of finding it even a few days later so if the video is a few days old and you guys are just finding it, you guys are still in luck because it probably won't even be found yet. So guys, we're going to jump right into this video. So starting at the number 7 spot, we have Quavo. Now Quavo has many, many different types of chains, but specifically his Ratatouille chain. He has many different chains that are over the price of $100,000, but his Ratatouille chain is actually a quarter of a million dollars. Now a lot of you may say that spending this much on a chain is absolutely useless and stuff like that, but the Migos are absolutely killing it right now, and Quavo is definitely making enough money to spend. Now I don't know how many you guys actually pay attention to like the radio and just new songs that come out every other like, week or so honestly somebody either from Migos or just the whole Migos group are like featured on that song like I swear to god it's every time that I hear a new song on the radio one of the Migos are in it or just all three of them together they're doing a really really good job marketing and collabing with other people that's why they're basically almost the fastest growing artist group in 2017 so far. The detail put into this chain is nuts. If you take a closer look to the chain, you'll notice how inside the chain, he's wearing another chain. So that's probably why the thing costs so much money because that not only is it just a really nice chain, but the person wearing the chain, which is Quavo, is wearing another chain inside the chain, if that makes any sense. Everything on the chain as well is studded in VVS diamonds, which is why it's a quarter of a million dollars. Starting at the number Number six spot guys we actually have Kanye West now we all know that Kanye definitely has a lot of money but you guys wouldn't believe what he spent his hard-earned money on so Kanye got a painting done for his house which is a beautifully well done painting the painting is of him as an angel or a god type figure for everyone who doesn't know Kanye was actually involved in an almost fatal car accident this painting just represents how fast life could be taken away from him and he likes to see it every day when he wakes up now we all know Kanye can definitely spend the money on anything he really wants with him and Kim Kardashian, both their net worths combined being absolutely insane numbers, but this painting was a total of $350,000. Now a lot of you guys are probably going nuts right now wondering why he would spend $350,000 on a painting when he could have bought us another house, but this painting does represent a lot to Kanye and how his life could have been taken away from him. It just basically represents all the stuff that he went through and all that. Alright guys, so starting at the number 5 fact, we actually have Travis Scott. Now you guys wouldn't believe what Travis Scott bought. When I was doing the research for this video and I found out this is how much money he spent on a watch alone, this absolutely blew my mind. So everybody knows the hit artist Travis Scott, he's especially been blowing up this year. So he purchased a Jacob & Co watch for $1 million. Now I have to say this is one of the most beautiful watches I've ever seen in my life. This is an all glass Jacob & Co watch that has been handcrafted just for Travis. I honestly don't really know why he would spend one million dollars on a single watch but Travis did and he certainly does not mind. He really likes to flex this watch in photo shoots and music videos so if you ever go watch one of his music videos and you see his watch he, that's the one I'm talking about in this video. I'm also gonna have pictures up on the screen showing the watch so just in case you saw him on like an Instagram post or something like that that is a million dollar watch he has on his wrist. He could have gave his money to like investors and stuff like that and turn that one million into several million but I guess he just wanted the watch. Many rappers like to spend their money wildly and buy flashy stuff like this and it never really works out for them but I really hope it does work out for Travis because I am a really big fan of his music and I would hate to see him you know be 
broke in the next 10 years because he just spent money on really dumb things. But I also guess the watch could be an investment if he does keep it in perfect shape. It's a million dollar watch right now, but if he keeps it in really like mint perfect condition shape, he could probably sell it a couple like years down the road for like, I don't know, 800,000 or something along the lines of that. So starting at the number four spot, we have Rick Ross with yet another chain. So if you know Rick Ross, he loves his chains. He has so many chains and he spent so many millions of dollars on chains. But this one specifically is a chain of himself. This chain is around $1,500,000. Now that's absolutely insane just for a chain, but if he ever needs the money, which I doubt, he can easily sell it and probably make about a million dollars back from it because because the chain was made with the world's best diamond. Rick Ross has been around for a very, very long time and also has a team of investors that not many people actually do know about, but Rick is constantly making money. Rick Ross's net worth on Google is currently $35 million, which is more money I could probably spend in my lifetime. But I am actually pretty curious, if you guys right now had $35 million e-transferred to your bank account, what would you spend on it the first day you had it? Honestly, I don't even know what I'd do. The first thing I'd do probably is go get like the biggest pizza ever and and then go just buy my parents a house and stuff like that. Honestly, I'm not even sure what I would do with that much money. Let me know what you guys would do down in the comments below though, because I am pretty curious. So starting at the number three spot, we have the one and only Jay-Z. Now Jay-Z bought a watch that is worth $1,700,000. Now sorry if I say this wrong, but this is a pretty long and kind of looks like a hard name for me to say, but the watch is called a Richard Mile RM56 Felipe Maza Sapphire watch. As I said, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but the name will be on screen if you guys know what I'm talking about it's a pretty hard word to say I don't know if this is the first time I've ever seen it because I had no interest of in buying a 1.7 million dollar watch so the watch is all glass and you can see everything that's going on in the inside you can see the gears and everything how everything works on the inside of the watch honestly I would never spend that much money on a watch but hey if you got the money to do it why not right so we all know Jay-Z's been around for a very long time so guys I wanted you to guess his net worth now you remember he is dating Rihanna but we're not gonna count their combined net worth is only gonna be his. So guys, I'm gonna give you five seconds right now to guess what Jay-Z's net worth is. So Jay-Z's net worth, I bet a bunch of you guys lowballed it, but his net worth is actually $610 million, which places him third on the Forbes list for the richest men in hip hop. So for the second place, guys, we have something insane. Now, Nick Cannon, he doesn't really make music much anymore, but he did go on to host America's Got Talent, and he really got into acting in the past couple of years. I know many of you guys probably know him. It's just for the new people that are young, they might not know who Nick Cannon is, but he did buy a pair of $2 million shoes. Now guys, that's $1 million on each foot and he just likes to go walk around in them. Some people make $1 million in their lifetime and Nick is wearing that on each foot. For all the people that thought spending $600 on a pair of Yeezys is bad, imagine spending $2 million on a pair of shoes. Nick is currently the host of the show Wild Now, which is a rap show. Nick Cannon did say he was going to sell the shoes and donate the money to charities all across the world, which is honestly an amazing thing by him. Although Nick's really going to have a really good story to tell his kids and stuff like that when he's older because, you know, who can say they had over a million dollars worth of shoes on one pair alone? Alright guys, if you guys are watching to this point right now for the number one spot, I want you guys to comment down below saying expensive because if you do that, I'm going to go check out your channel and give you some advice on your videos or just subscribe to your channel because I want to support the people that support me. Alright guys, so starting at the number one spot, we have Jay-Z again. Jay-Z spent $2,700,000 on a Bugatti Grand Sport. This is a very rare car. car. So is the regular Veyron, but he wanted the Grand Sport Edition because it costed so much more money. As I said earlier, Jay-Z's net worth is over $600 million. This car isn't very much to him at all, but buying this car is basically like buying a Honda Civic to a middle school teacher, so it's really not that big of a deal. The Veyron was one of the fastest cars in the world, but it was passed. The top speed of the Veyron is 264 miles per hour. Now before the end of the video, guys, I want to give an honorable mention to one of my favorite artists, so is Lil Uzi Vert. I had to do this because I was already making the video and Lil Uzi Vert is my favorite artist. Artist, so I just wanted to look up and see how much his Marilyn Manson chain was. So Lil Uzi Vert actually spent $220,000 on a Marilyn Manson chain, which is absolutely insane, especially for just a rapper who's only been blowing up recently. I couldn't imagine spending $220,000 on something that, I guess it is actually a pretty cool chain, and Marilyn Manson is one of his, the people he looks up to in music, if you just didn't know that. Now a lot of you guys are probably going to disagree with that, but if you do the tiniest of research, you'll notice how Lil Uzi Vert 
he looks up to Marilyn Manson in many different ways, especially with music. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys smack a like on it. Please, please do that because I would love to see over 350 likes on this video. Also, I do provide a YouTube help service, so if you would like help growing your YouTube channel, all you guys have to do is go hit me up on Twitter. It's on the screen right here, and you will be detailed once you DM me. Anyways, guys, it's been District Trending. I'm out. Peace.